letter to legislators, unlike calves and pigs, I am not a beast of burden. I am a woman and I have these human rights. The right to life, the right to privacy, the right to freedom, the right to bodily integrity, the right to decide how and when I reproduce. The policies that you support strip me and other women of our rights and deprive us of dignity and freedom in the following ways. And even though I know it would be nice to keep things lighthearted, it's going to be impossible for the next minute and a half. <laughs> Criminalizing pregnancy and imprisoning women who have miscarried, have accidents, are suffering from substance abuse, or have had to make sad decisions regarding their pregnancies, and then compounding the harm by forcing women to carry dying or inevitably dead fetuses when they otherwise wouldn't. Inhibiting, humiliating, and punishing women for their reproductive choices, such as mandating permission slips from men, requiring we know best waiting periods, or forcing women to undergo medically unnecessary and involuntary bodily penetration, what we otherwise call rape. Seizing women, disabling them, or sacrificing their lives by withholding and delaying medical treatment, or forcing them to undergo cesarean deliveries. Lastly, depriving women of their ability to make decisions that allow them to earn a living, be paid fairly and equitably, and support themselves and their families. By pursuing a single-minded and perverse agenda designed to curtail women's reproductive freedom, you sacrifice our health and the well-being of our families. I morally object to your consigning me, my daughters, and yours to function as reproductive animals for society. Just because I can get pregnant does not mean that I cannot think clearly, ethically, morally, rationally about my body, human life, or the consequences of my actions. Just because you cannot get pregnant does not mean that I do not have rights when I am pregnant. I have responsibility, but am powerless. You have power, but are irresponsible with my rights. By trusting me, you force me, by not trusting me, you force me to trust you, and you are not trustworthy. What you are doing is disgraceful, hypocritical, and corrupt. And no, I am not crazy. I am angry. These archaic bills and laws, wasteful of time, money, and lives, obscure and enduring and unchangeable truth. Safe and effective family planning is the transformative social justice accomplishment of the 20th century. Your actions betray your clearly biased commitment to individual rights and limited government. Your actions betray our nation's fundamental beliefs, deprive me of the right to life, privacy, and equal protection under the law. These rights are mine, and they are the rights of all women. We are here today because women have yet to be fully recognized as citizens with agency in both the private and public spheres. So I close with two things. One, just to be clear, this is not about women hating men. This is about women and men joining together to fight for equality and to end oppression. Yeah. 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 Two, I ask you all to not sit quietly when you encounter bias, sexism, and misogyny. And although I know that we all need to vote and more women need to run, and we need to elect women and make sure we have representation, I think it is equally important for everybody to speak in ways that children can hear and to say things loudly and clearly in defense of equal rights for girls and women. Yeah. Yeah. So I'd really like to thank you today for allowing me to do this. And um, I'm glad the sun is out. <laughs> yeah.